In this how-to video, we will be demonstrating the proper procedure for installing an MP pump's pump pack to a close coupled motor. For the purposes of this video, we will be referring to a pump pack being installed to an electric NEMA C-faced motor. But this procedure will also work for installing the pump pack to an engine or pedestal unit. Ensure that the motor shaft and pump drive sleeve are clean and free of nicks or burrs that may score the inside of the pump drive sleeve and prevent smooth fit between the motor shaft and the drive sleeve. If a key is provided on the motor shaft, remove it as it will not be used. Likewise, the C-face flange should be inspected to ensure it is clean and free of any nicks or damage that would prevent the correct fit when mounting the pump to the drive unit. It is imperative the adapter fit flush and square to the motor face. Verify the motor shaft is the correct diameter for the drive sleeve of the pump. At this point, we should ensure the shim material is still in place between the impeller and the wear plate. This is the 20 thousandths metal band that is present in the discharge port of the pump. Do not remove this shim material before the drive sleeve clamp has been tightened to the motor drive shaft. This is a very common mistake made by those installing the pump packs, and it affects not only the impeller clearance, but also the working height of the mechanical seal. If this clearance is not properly maintained, it may adversely affect the performance of the pump as well as the mechanical seal performance. If the shim stock was removed prematurely, it can be reinstalled using the following procedure to ensure the correct impeller clearance is maintained during the installation of the pump pack. Looking into the discharge port of the Flowmax pump, you will see three holes in the housing. The one to the far right will be a small round cast hole, and the other two are finished machined rectangular slots. The middle hole or slot is where the shim material should be positioned. While pulling the drive sleeve towards the motor, insert the shim stock down the discharge port and through the middle hole in the housing, and position it between the impeller and the wear plate. Once the shim stock is in position again, we can proceed with installing the pump pack. Loosen the nuts on the drive sleeve clamp. Install the pump pack onto the motor by aligning and inserting the motor shaft into the drive sleeve and aligning the adapter holes with the mounting holes of the motor flange. Do not force the pump pack onto the motor shaft. Hand pressure only should be required. If the drive sleeve will not slide over the motor shaft, then check the following. A. Is the motor shaft the correct size for the pump drive sleeve? B. Is the drive shaft clamp loose enough? C. Are there any burrs or nicks in either part that were missed in the first inspection? Once the shaft is installed in the drive sleeve and the mounting holes of the adapter are properly aligned, Insert and tighten the mounting flange bolts and lock washers securing the pump pack to the motor. Ensure that the shim stock is still correctly positioned between the impeller and wear plate. The drive sleeve clamp bolts can now be tightened evenly to secure the drive sleeve to the motor shaft. This can be checked by visually inspecting the gap between the clamp halves to ensure even tightening. With the drive sleeve clamp in place and tightened evenly, the shim material can be removed from the discharge port of the housing. Now the shim stock can be pulled out of the pump and the pump should be rotated by hand to check the freedom of rotation. If there are no rubbing or scraping sounds, the pump will now be ready for installation into the system.